Gunslinger Cow here. Showcasing knives. Reviewing knives. My name's Kalen. Welcome. Good morning, everybody. Kalen here with Gunslinger Cow. Coming to you with another video on Monday morning. Um, gonna do something a little bit different today. Go back to uh, something uh, I did at the very beginning and uh, give my case collection a little update. So uh, without further ado, we're going to need to get straight into this because it's going to be a long one. <laughs> um, and I have just a, uh, I'll show you all just a peek, but uh, we got just a pile of knives here. So we're going to go through each one, one by one. Um, Got the first one out of a bag already, just because I carry this one all the most. Uh, a little Sod Buster Jr. Um, I might say the dates on some of these, I might not. This one is a uh, 2014 and uh, yellow Delrin CV. Great snap. Best Sod Buster I've owned so far, even though it's it's got the, the blade like that, but. Uh, best one I've owned so far we got up here got a little mini trapper looks like this is my wife's knife this one is a 2020 model and I believe this one was raspberry bone Okay, moving along. 1988-6333 in green bone. I'm not going to open all the blades. Yes, I am. I'm going to open all the blades. <laughs> there you go. 1988. We're going to need all the room here. Okay, next one. I believe is a 90's model. Trapper. Yeah, 90's model. I believe it's a 99 if I'm not mistaken. Love the color on this one and the jigging. Looks like we got a, another little mini trapper here. <clears throat> that yellow Dell. This is a 20, 2013. Great knife. Next up, we have a, looks to be a 6344 Stockman, uh, one of the small mediums, and this one is a 1990 model. She poked me. That one's in yellow Delrin. Got the 6208 up next. This is a great knife, especially when I get it back to working order. Proper working order, I should say. Got the clip point in the pin blade. That is in jig bone. Got another trapper here. Never know what you're going to pull out of the pile. This one is in that amber bone. I 
great knife here. What's up next? Another 6333 in Doran. Come on down. Yeah, I like these little small stockmans here. Come back to me there. That one is a 1991. Very nice. New old stock. Here we go. Getting into the stuff everybody wants to see here now. <clears throat> this is a 1971. Sixty-three ninety-two in the old dark red bone, and it's got that. Uh, this is built into the knife, but uh, they hid the sheep's foot by lowering it. They also lowered the spay, so you could still get into your sheep's foot by adding a nail, nail nick there. Or I'm, I apologize, uh, easy open for the nail nick on the spay blade. So which I thought was really cool. I love the sleek design of this one. And it's in excellent condition. Wonderful knife here. And moving right along. Looks like we have a canoe. My one and only. <clears throat> Shout out to Slippy. Over at Slip Joint Sawyer. I believe mine is a 2023. Yes. 2023. Yeah, and I love this thing here. It has excellent bone on it. And that amber jig bone. Have one of my favorites here for a good reason. Talked about this one many a time. It's a wonder that it made it into my hands, but it decided to. It's also uh, as the hidden sheep's foot. But the design of this knife allowed them to uh, not have to put the easy open in. Still gets all the blades pretty easy. Great snap. And this is a 6332, by the way. Nineteen uh forty to nineteen sixty-four, I believe. <clears throat> Alrighty, moving along, we have 1981 Texas Jack in the 6292 pattern, which is the same size as that knife, in case you wanted to know. It is identical to that knife. Other than just only having two blades and it being a jack pattern, the Texas jack. Large jack, if you will. And this one has the easy open. I carry this knife. It's one of my favorites. There's that stamp. Mega, uh snap on those all right this is uh, one of my newer knives but uh, quickly becoming one of my favorites um, I was watching BC this morning BC knives go give him a check out and uh, he showcased a beautiful beautiful blue one and uh, mine is a case brothers in chestnut bone 
It's 2004. Which I thought was really cool. I actually have a box for it there. Yeah, I love that. I love that blade there. Beautiful spear with the swedge. Wonderful knife. Nope. No good. Up here you go. Next we have <clears throat> this be a pin blade. I know what this knife is, even though I just received it. Um, shout out to Knife Delights, Tom over there. Was gracious enough to send this to me for my collection. It is a 1920s to 1940 pin knife with an easy open on the pin blade. And it's got two pin blades. And she is in celluloid. So, gotta keep this one separated. But for this video, it should probably be okay. Um, moving right along. We have a bag that's missing a silica pack. Red alert. Um, 1996. Half Whittler in Congress with the easy open on the pin blade and a long beautiful long pull there CV on the metal 32052 love this knife found it at the flea market wonderful long pull there Great knife. Alrighty, moving along. We have one of my copper locks. And amber bone. This one is a 2021. And stainless. I love these little knives. This one has fantastic bone. Just fantastic. <clears throat> Keeping it going here. 1975 Case Barlow. Mega Snap. Mega Pull. She's ready for a bath again. Just some rust removal. Not really a bath. Love this knife. We have here 1980. Three, I believe, if I counted correctly. 1983, 63-18. <clears throat> In their brown bone. Gotta watch the spade blades on those 63-18s. They are lightning fast. I've been nicked by a few of them. Another, uh, well, not another, but a granddaddy Barlow that everybody knows about. I picked up at the flea market. 1920 to 1940. The extra modified blade there. <laughs> 
I believe. Secondary is about almost as long as the, the main one. It's a close race there. But yeah. Had to have it for that, that bone right there. My knife guy uh, teaching me to do knives. Mega tank. Did the favor there of patching the bone. Wonderful knife. Let's get, a, let's get a bigger knife out, why don't we? Gotta keep the bigger ones in a bigger bag, so you know how it goes. Sod Buster. This one is a Nineteen seventy four. <clears throat> Found this on eBay for way too cheap. Find a smaller enough to fit in there. Why don't we? Got a uh, sixty two thirty two here. like a 2009 and that amber bone look at that bone there 62032 my apologies in the CV love this knife here medium Texas Jack Like we gotta fit. Got a really cool one here I just picked up recently. Chestnut bone copperhead. She's a bit rough, but didn't have one. Got it at a good price, so it's a 90s model. Still has all of its snap ability. Shout out to Terry's knives and man stuff. That's in a CV as well. 6249. Awesome knife. <clears throat> Got plenty of those 6318s. One of my uh, one of my favorite stockman patterns. Everybody's got each their own. <clears throat> one is in uh, chestnut I believe we have another 1990 tested XX razor edge 6318 HP SSP Great knife. Love the color on that one. Alrighty. Cut another uh, amber bone here for you. Trapper. 6254. Look out. And CV. And that is a 2000, uh, 2003. Focus. Make sure you get that bone right there. <clears throat> Another favorite of mine. This is a uh, 
believe it's a 79 if I'm not mistaken. That is correct. 1979. Electrician's knife. A case. Here we go. Fun stuff there. One, two, zero, three, one L. Liner lock for that uh, stripping blade there. And screwdriver. I love this knife. It's in great condition. Listen to this. <laughs> that will take your finger off if it's in there, I promise. Great snap on that blade too. Nothing like the uh, skinning or the uh, stripping blade. It's incredible, incredible. And there we are so far. As you can, uh, if you've watched uh, my original video, it's already uh, changed quite a bit from the uh, original one. What do we have here? I believe this is a 1980-6347. And that brown bone. He got pretty close to hiding the uh, sheep's foot on that one. Here is that. 1980. Sheep's foot. Spay. Looks like somebody took this to the polisher. Boom. 6347, 1980. Wonderful knife. What else do we have here? 6292, 1989. New old stock. This one did not have the easy open for that pin blade. Unfortunately, wonderful bone though. Love this knife as well. Moving along, still got a few to go. Sixty-two fifty-four. This one is a 2006 NCV. Oh, I'm sorry, 3254. My apologies. Get it together, Kalen. Get it together. This is a uh, another uh, newer edition. To my collection, and I'm proud of it. A little uh, 6375 for your consideration, and that amber bone. How about that? I believe this one is 2007. That's a wonderful, wonderful snap. Never been used, never carried. According to the accordance, 6375 CV. A little bit of a lazy close there, but that's all right. Might need to uh, take a gander at the back spring there on the inside. Might be a little gunky. Never know. What's next? 6347 in brown bone. Or chestnut bone, I apologize. And that one is a focus. 89. 1989. Oh. 
the sheep's foot in the space. Another wonderful knife. Got a heavy hitter here. Red alert. 1965 through 1969. 6375. Dark red bone. One of my favorite knives here. By far. She is a beaut. All the snap left in her. Look out. Let's throw another big one out there, why don't we? We might find somewhere else to put this one though. She's a tiny bit larger. This is a wrong blade for the tank. <laughs> I have a, another uh, 65 through 69 folding hunter, also known as the Saab 6265. And I love this knife. And has the lanyard, wooden scales, great knife. We'll start these bigger knives over here for safe measure. Okay, moving along. 1988 Swell End Jumbo Jack. And green bone. Possibly my favorite knife. Love the pattern. Love the color. Everything about it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a perfect knife for me. Uh, don't carry it though. <laughs> so I'm going to have to make me one uh, that I can carry. And uh, hopefully it'll be up to standard. So, moving along. This is a 2003, I believe. 6332 chestnut bone. Wonderful, wonderful pattern here for a medium stockman. Pin blade, sheep's foot, flip point. They did fantastic on that bone. Fantastic. Alrighty, moving along. You gotta stay moving. 6392. And this one is a 1978 and uh, I think it's brown bone or no I'm sorry this one's Appaloosa bone Appaloosa bone there's a gigantic sheep's foot there and uh, very hard pull spade blade look at that there Listen to this. Yeah. Let's get some of these smaller knives back in there. Can't forget about those. Don't need a big old line of small knives at the end, do we? <laughs> um, this is a 1980... 1980... Satin Rose Serpentine Jack. We have uh, SR62027. Two, two, 
mega snap on this map as well. Got another small one here. This is a sixty two thirty three. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. And stainless brown delrin. Little pin knife. I have a 1970 peanut and red bone, dark red bone. And that is 6223, I believe. No. What is that last number? Oh, goodness. 6220, I apologize. I apologize. I have the easy open for the coping blade. So, awesome knife here. Listen to this. <laughs> the tiny blade has that much snap. <clears throat> Incredible. Incredible. <clears throat> Alrighty. Keep on moving here. Another 6332. An amber jig bone. This is a 2001. Six three zero three two CV. Excellent snap. Awesome knife. Okay, moving along. Got a two thousand. 3318 in CV. We all know this knife. <laughs> <clears throat> Gotta be extra careful when you close all the blades. And that one, you gotta help out. This was my father's knife. Got all the use out of that one. One of my grandfather's knives here, 6318. This is also a 2000 model. This one has very, very tricky blades, likes to cut you. So, be wary. <laughs> this one in particular. This is a very sneaky close. Okay. Of a nineteen seventy sixty three forty four in dark red bone. She's had a bit of youth. That's okay. Still in fantastic condition. Love this knife. No snap on that. <laughs> it's okay. That one does. Alrighty, moving on. Got another uh, 6318 here in red bone. This is a 2018. 
It is in excellent condition. This is uh, in CV as well. All the snap there. Wonderful knife. Well, guess what? Another 63. You guessed it. 18. <laughs> Love this knife. This is a 1996 in the Autumn Bone. This one is in stainless. Not a lot of snap on that sheep's foot either. Oh, one of my favorites here. Twenty fifteen, I believe. Nope. <laughs> Two thousand and ten. Uh case muskrat and chestnut. And C V blades. One of my favorite knives here. Did a fantastic job on this bone as well well everybody knows what's coming I feel like but I'm gonna save it <laughs> let's save it what do we got here we have 1984 62.54 in this wonderful bone and we have the new grind excellent snap on that blade wonderful knife here Got one to fill in one of those gaps there. This is a 2006 tiny toothpick with the Saturn shield and the saw cut bone. Love that color. another recent addition to my collection this is a 2000 amber bone mini copper lock that I picked up for $35 <laughs> and I guess uh, there was some brown brown stuff here along the blade I guess they whoever was selling it thought it was rust but it appeared to just be a really really old tape residue so lucky me love that amber bone plenty worn there somebody carried the heck out of that one and I have in 1981 62 63 <laughs> 32 sorry by way of uh, Randy WSG thank you brother still haven't taken it apart yet got plenty of things on my plate but it is on there Ridiculous snap on that one. Decent snap. Yeah. That's alright. Alright, guys. Here we go. Time to turn up the heat a bit. 
2015 slab side hunter case select that red jig bone G10 black liners We have 678 by three and a half. Three and a half this way. Three and a half this way. Stainless steel. Here we go. What is this here? This is a 2020. Teardrop by Tony Bowes, bare head and amber bone. GB61028, stainless. Awesome knife here. Got a few of these. <clears throat> Got one in Bone Stag. This one's a 2015. Love this one with that shield. This is a 2016 pocket worn, 20th anniversary. Look at that color there. Tony Bowes was the man. <clears throat> This is a 2014, I believe. There's a special stamp there. Which I thought was really cool. I love the color on this one as well. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay. Those were gents. Here's a jack in the teardrop, chestnut bone, smooth bone. And that is TB62028. And stainless. Sorry, I had something in my eye, guys. And I have another one here in desert green. Should probably stop rubbing my eye. <laughs> this is also 2015. Love that diamond shield there. Here's a one I carry. This is a uh, sway back gent, twenty seventeen, and that is. TB six one 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 seven in stainless steel. That dark blue bone. It's one of my favorites. The gray bone with that pewter shield or whatever it is. This is a twenty twenty sway back jet. And, uh, still pretty much brand new condition. 
<laughs> Almost dropped that one. <laughs> but I didn't. Another Swayback Gent. This is a 2018. Another really good one. Love that color there. Here's a Crimson Swayback Jack. Having two blades there. This is a 2016. Saw cut bone. It's kind of got a weird looking back there, but that's okay. Doesn't make or break me on the knife. Just glad to have one. That's about it. <laughs> or many. Here's one of my favorites. Swayback Jack. Bare head. It's a 2008. Wonderful knife. Beautiful colors. Getting close to the end here. So 2000 and <laughs> wrong blade. 2000 and three. No, sorry. Yeah. 2004 yeah 2004 sorry about that mine went blank there this is a Tony Bowes saddle horn with the script shield and red bone it is a first run that is TB 62110 it's stainless Love the shape of those blades there. Skinner and the clip point. Fantastic knife here. Uh, you yeah, still see that there. How about that one there? How about that? We have a 2000, so <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. This being a 2004, saying first run. If anybody has any clarification on that, I would love to know um, why this says first run and has less dots. And this is a 2000 model, and it does not say first run, so let me know on that if anybody knows. I would appreciate it. This is a 2000 saddle horn. <laughs> Back to regular programming. I love the color on this one and the jigging. That winter bottom jigging. <clears throat> Had to have it. And this. The a sow belly, 2015, by Tony Bowes. There's a wonderful clip point there. Sheep's foot. And an awesome spade blade with that mega swedge there. Just got a bit of blade rub, but that's okay. Great snap. Charlie, uh, 
number there. TB6339 stainless. Love this knife. Running out of room though, so let's do some shifting. I think we can get the last ones in here. This is a uh, 2017 travel lock. Tony Bowes. 712010 L. And stainless. It's got the ebony handles. And his autograph there. Wonderful knife. Got a lot of cleaning to do <laughs> when I get done with this video. Um, we are running out of room, so that's okay. There's only two left. I have a 2001 back pocket here by Tony Bowes. And that wonderful red bone. <laughs> it almost doesn't look real. And this is TB61546 in stainless. Also known as the back pocket, if I haven't said that already. Awesome knife. I'm just gonna very carefully alright guys last but not least best knife I own maybe Panama Trapper this is a 2021 as you can see there Mahoning Valley Knife Collectors Association 14 and I believe there was only 52 of these made That clip point there Where are we at? Where's it at? Wrong side <laughs> How about that blade there? TB 62546 and stainless safe clean right here gotta clean this one back up the best <laughs> alright guys that does it I fit every single one of my case knives on the screen unbelievable um, that wraps it up for my case collection update I hope you all enjoyed and uh, remember uh, shout out to all those names I mentioned and until next time Kalen out